Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Who's like your shells, dust, lacers, peasants, vassals, minions, meat sacks, citizens. I'm Yusuf Lydia. Welcome. And uh, this is another in my uh, series that I'm doing right now about police. And in this case, I, I, I was really troubled by events in New York City. And of course, events we've seen uh, across the country with other police departments as well. And uh, that's the idea of police. Uh, being uh, being politically involved, and uh, in the case of New York City, of course, we see essentially the police declaring they, they not, or at least a portion of the police department there, declaring that the, they don't they don't have any loyalty to the mayor there, and then declaring uh, uh, outside of the the normal uh, channels that they're going to uh, not arrest a certain class of uh, offense in New York City. So they're choosing choosing what laws they will enforce and what laws they won't. I just found this rather surprising. Uh, supposedly, uh, the police force are set up to supposedly protect and serve, although that's an erroneous assumption and something I will actually be doing a separate video on. But uh, it's, it's very troubling to have, theoretically, the idea of the police who are, are involved in uh, thwarting crime and uh, being in this public servant position and uh, representing the law, theoretically, and justice, uh, the fact that they can get involved in politics is, is kind of disturbing. And uh, I used the example before of what if, uh, in, if soldiers, what if individual soldiers were allowed uh, to essentially declare uh, allegiance or non-allegiance to certain officers, uh, decide uh, that they would involve themselves in certain actions but not other ones, and, and, and choosing amongst themselves, and then not only that, not having any repercussions for it, and then and then also being the, having the military be able to be uh, involved in politics, uh, it makes it should make people a little nervous. Uh, it should also make people a little nervous that police are getting into uh, politics. And according to uh, New York law itself, uh, misdemeanors concerning police commissioners or officers. Or members of any police force and can be uh, uh, perpetrated by being politically involved. And, uh, and the exact quote from the document is quote, Any person who, being a police commissioner or any officer or member of any police force in this state, one, uses or threatens or attempts to use his official power or authority in any manner, directly or indirectly, in aid of or against any political party organization, association, or society, or to control, affect, influence, reward, or punish the political adherence, affiliation, action, expression, or opinion of any citizen. So not only does it make this whole uh, police uh, behavior in New York City uh, inappropriate, it makes it illegal. And uh, not the least of which we, we found out that uh, most of this uh, uh, so-called crime uh, that they protect against in New York City is actually revenue generation. It has nothing to do with crime. The fact that they're not arresting for 90 percent of the, these activities is, is extorting uh, the, the government of New York City out of tax revenue or out of, out of revenue. It's not uh, any sort of uh, political statement per se, but um, it, it, it also serves as a political statement, uh, uh, as a matter of fact. But uh, so this is uh, uh, talking about any citizen. So we also find out uh, rather interesting that we have police getting involved in politics when they profile uh, citizens. So when they uh, profile uh, so-called constitutionalists or uh, uh, supporters of Ron Paul or any other political parties, once again, uh, we don't seem to have any officers uh, uh, having to deal with any repercussions of being political in the field uh, with citizens, let alone on a massive scale like we're seeing in New York City. And uh, so I'd, I'd, be, I'd love to hear what uh, people's comments are about this uh, this topic uh, below, because I, I just find it really fascinating that, that we've gotten to the point where uh, we have such a, a, an overt police state. Uh, not only does the Police are insulated and are a law unto themselves, 
but uh, to find them also uh, exercising en masse um, uh, political action in, in New York City, I think, is a, a very, very dangerous thing to see. But it goes hand in hand with the kind of all the other police behavior we're seeing, including uh, the militarization and cronyism. Um, so anyway, uh, there we have it. Uh, police and politics, uh, good idea or bad idea. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.